I think we can all agree that leaking anything can be bad. Whether oil or classified documents leaks are generally unpleasant. These following leaked military photos are no exception. In fact, we bet government and military officials would love nothing more than to see these sensitive and embarrassing images get swept under some rug somewhere. Before we continue, prove you have the proper military clearance by clicking that red subscribe button. If you're feeling extra adventurous, be sure to activate notifications so you are always in touch with us here at the richest headquarters. Navy, UFO, military personnel travel all over the world and have access to things that many of us wouldn't see in our everyday lives. In 1971, the crew of a US submarine allegedly had a run-in with something that was immediately kept under wraps, until recently that is. Throughout the 1970s, 80s, and 90s, the USS Trepang patrolled the waters of the world, ready to take part in a war with the Soviet Union, which thankfully never came. Throughout all of her voyages, Trepang's 1971 trip in the North Atlantic was surely the most unusual. You see, while sailing between Iceland and Norway, some of the crew sighted and photographed a strange object hovering over the water nearby. The crew on watch managed to take a series of shots that showed the object changing shape before disappearing into the water. The photos were never released. Then, just a couple years ago, the images were leaked to a French magazine which sought an answer to what this object really was. Were these leaked photos of a military research balloon? An experimental aircraft? Or potentially, something not from this world? We'll let you be the judge. Missile fail. In addition to people, the cornerstone of any good military force is its equipment. You know, stuff like guns, tanks, bombers, and ships. In fact, every military spends considerable time testing and practicing with such weapons to ensure everything works well and is ready if called upon. In Russia, one of the weapons constantly being used in training is the S-300. This is a surface-to-air missile system which is often considered to be one of the best in the world. Developed during the 1980s, the S-300 has been steadily improved upon and even sold to several other countries around the globe. Nonetheless, accidents do happen. It's not uncommon for soldiers to record a test launch, even if they shouldn't. In this instance, when the missile was ejected from its tube, something malfunctioned and the whole thing came crashing back down into the ground. This isn't the first time the S-300 has failed, and the resulting damage can often be costly to repair. Furthermore, we're pretty sure the Russian government isn't too thrilled when a leaked clip of one of these mishaps gets shown across the internet. So cold. Some countries aren't too keen on releasing a lot of information about their military, the technology, or even the training their forces go through. After all, if you give all of your secrets away to potential enemies, that can be disadvantageous if a conflict ever breaks out. Belarus is no different. Nonetheless, one new recruit, simply known as Max, decided he'd bring along a camera while he underwent compulsory training. While we all know basic military training can be pretty tough, the images Max captured were a bit of an eye-opener. Sure, there were all the usual images you'd find in most militaries, soldiers marching, training, and getting their hair cut off. Yet in one leaked photo, Max showed just how out of date the Belarusian system was. The image in question was the bathroom the trainees used. There was no hot water and there were no showers to be seen. Recruits had to use cold water only and showers were taken by dumping a bucket over your head. We get that military life isn't meant to be comfortable, but most other military forces at least have showers and warm water in their barracks. Gulag. If you've watched our video channel for any amount of time, then you know we are fascinated with North Korea. Why? Well, it's such a secretive state that it just drives us crazy trying to figure out what exactly Kim Jong-un is doing in there. One thing outside observers have never fully understood is the gulag camps, which operate in the wilderness of the interior of North Korea. Sure, we had some idea they existed thanks to satellite images, yet there wasn't exactly much beyond some eyewitnesses' reports to confirm that these Soviet-style labor camps existed. Then, a guard An Myung Chol decided he had seen enough. An defected from the Hermit Kingdom in 1994. His story of the brutal conditions in the camps pretty much confirmed what most people had suspected despite the fact that North Korean government denied such camps existed. That denial was pretty much shown to be a lie when this secret and leaked image made its way to the press. Taken by a guard, it shows camp inmates laboring in the snow. Also visible are barbed wire and electrified fencing. If this isn't a gulag, then it must be one of the most secure construction sites in the world. Russians in Ukraine 
For years now, there has been an ongoing conflict brewing in eastern Ukraine. The military of that country has been fighting separatist forces backed by Russia. In fact, it's been one of the worst kept secrets that Russia is involved in the conflict. Yet even when Russian prisoners and destroyed Russian tanks started showing up, the Kremlin refused to admit their involvement. For example, when Russia Today News reported on the conflict, one of the shots they used was of a destroyed Ukrainian truck near the town of Chervonosilske in eastern Ukraine. Then, a leaked photo on social media raised some eyebrows. In it, two known Russian servicemen were shown standing in front of the sign for Chernovolsilske. How do we know that they are real Russian soldiers? Thanks to previous social media posts showing these guys in service of the Russian military, everyone was pretty sure they weren't separatists. They even have the white stripes of cloth on their uniforms that are said to be used by Russians serving in Ukraine at the time. The cherry on the leaked photo Sunday here is that if you look behind them, you can see the very same destroyed Ukrainian truck that Russia Today News had reported on earlier. Whew. All right, it's time for our quiz. When it comes to military photos, do you know which war is generally recognized as being the birthplace of war photography? Hint, it was a long time ago. Stay tuned to find out the answer. A different view. If you've ever seen any sort of news coverage about North Korea, it likely revolves around their military forces. The hot topic today concerns the multitude of missile launches. However, the staple image usually involves masses of soldiers parading in seemingly endless lines through the street of Pyongyang. Of course, all of this is purely for propaganda purposes. On the one hand, it ensures that Kim Jong-un can show his people he is the leader of a massive and unified army. On the other hand, it's used as a warning to the outside world that North Korea's military is potent. However, behind the scenes, experts think things are quite different and leaked images seem to confirm this. For instance, this image of soldiers collecting firewood from a field presents a far different image of Kim's might than we are used to. Reports suggest the lack of food and supplies affects nearly all sectors of Korean life. If that is the case, then the image of North Korea's soldiers performing manual labor and scrounging for firewood makes a lot of sense. A darker side. For the first decade and a half of American 21st century history will be remembered for the escalation of the war on terror and massive military involvement in places like Afghanistan and Iraq. For years, we saw images of US and coalition soldiers fighting against the Taliban and insurgent forces as they cleared areas of the countryside and tried to bring stability to war-ravaged regions. Then the scandals started to threaten all that hard work that had been done. First, there was Abu Ghraib. The torture and mistreatment of prisoners at this infamous Iraqi prison left a black mark on the military reputation of the US. That skeleton just won't stay in the closet either. Despite the government's attempts to keep prisoner abuse photos locked away, personal photos taken by soldiers at the scene continually leak out to the media and online world. This image of eight US soldiers surrounding two bound prisoners in Abu Ghraib is a perfect example. The prison has been closed since 2014, but images such as this continue to reopen old wounds, and it will likely continue for many years to come. Not the Boy Scouts. When you were little, you likely joined some sort of organization or even took part in team sports. After all, your parents had to get you out of the house somehow. If you lived in the US, the Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts were perfect organizations to teach kids all sorts of important skills. In Russia, they kind of have a similar system. We say kind of because their version of Boy Scouts involves giving kids AK assault rifles and a taste of military life. This image is proof of this. Located in Stravropol, the General Yermolov Cadet School is where Russian kids go to learn the military life. It's like camp for preteens, only with more barbed wire, drill instructors, and guns. While the Boy Scouts were teaching you to sew and make bird calls, Russian cadets are learning to clean their weapons, set up ambushes, and parachute from aircraft. Sure, it sounds a bit extreme to anyone outside of Russia. However, we're thinking if we had the chance to do this sort of stuff when we were little, we'd probably be right at the front of the line. Call AAA. As we've already shown you with the Russian missile tests, accidents and slip-ups do happen. It's just that normally cameras aren't allowed near such events so the government and military can rest assured that any embarrassing photos stay under wraps. This is the case usually, but not always. Even in the United States, embarrassing accidents happen and get photographed by soldiers nearby. Take tank training as a perfect example. In order to get crews fully up to par, you have to have them driving around on a field with other tanks. Well, in this instance, a rather unfortunate accident accident has happened. If you've ever wondered what a $10 million collision looks like, wonder no more. It appears two M1 Abrams tanks have collided in a rather comical fashion. Clearly stuck, the crewmen and soldiers can only stand and watch while another vehicle comes to pull the tanks apart. After all, 
When two 60-ton tanks get stuck like this, a tow truck just isn't going to cut it. While whoever is snapping this picture isn't really attracting any attention to themselves, we bet the folks in Washington wished this image was never taken and leaked onto the internet. Suggestive Pictures History has proven time and time again that war is a young person's business. However, it has also shown us that the younger generation tends to make poor choices when it comes to taking pictures and posting them online. After all, if you take a racy picture of yourself with a camera phone, there's every chance that bad boy could end up online. The girls of the Israeli Defense Forces have proven this on numerous occasions. Despite Israel's best efforts to clamp down on embarrassing images, they can't seem to fully stop the steady leak of images showing their female soldiers in suggestive poses and various states of undress. Whether classic group shots or individual shots in bikinis, these images are likely to make anyone forget these women are actually trained warriors. In fact, in some of these images, if it weren't for the soldiers' weapons strategically covering sensitive areas, you might think you'd accidentally stumbled across an adult site. To be honest, outside of the Israeli government, we bet few people have a problem with these images. Furthermore, we also have a feeling that recruitment levels are likely a bit higher as well. So, do you know the answer to which war is considered to be the starting point for modern wartime photography? The answer? The Crimean War. Yes, this war occurred over 160 years ago. Photographers who traveled to the area were the first to really document a conflict through the lens of the camera. Stand at attention. Let's be honest, being a soldier and having to stand at attention for long periods of time can be pretty draining. Add in that you may have to wear a rather uncomfortable and hot uniform, and the situation gets even worse. That's what happened to create this rather awkward moment. In 1970, Queen Elizabeth II was performing what is known as Trooping the Color. While riding by a section of soldiers, the camera caught one soldier passed right out from the strain of it all. With his comrades unable to do anything to help the Queen maintaining her composure, there's no denying this is just plain awkward for everyone. Pins and Needles Have you ever noticed that soldiers have fantastic posture? Whether marching or standing guard, military personnel around the world are definitely pros at standing straight. Yet it turns out it's not all down to practice. You see, in China, young recruits have some special encouragement in the form of a pin. Stuck through their collar, if the soldier doesn't keep their head up, the consequences are obvious. Keep that in mind the next time you see Chinese soldiers marching on the news. The Political Tank Politicians will do anything to get votes. They'll promise tax cuts and job creation, and they'll always look for a photo op to make them seem like a capable leader. Michael Dukakis tried just that in the 1988 U.S. presidential campaign. Now, you might think riding in a tank would make you look strong and serious. Dukakis, however, couldn't pull it off. In fact, the helmet with his name written across the front didn't help the whole matter either. The presidential hopeful just looked awkward and goofy, and the image ended up destroying his presidential bid. Team Player Sometimes when the mission just needs to be completed, there's no other option but to bend over and take one for the team. This soldier proves that motto in a rather literal way. Snipers are trained to shoot in all kinds of weather and terrain. Clearly, when there was nothing nearby to steady the rifle, this sharpshooter opted to use his friend. We're not sure what's more awkward about this, the pose or the confused look on the face of the man being used as a table. In any instance, this level of dedication doesn't detract from the total awkwardness this image burns into our minds. Standard Issue it seems like they do things a little bit differently in Russia. Looking at this picture, there's actually a lot to take in. Okay, so it's obviously a session meant to give civilians a chance to shoot on a firing range. However, the pink tank top and white leather boots sort of clash with the blue beret and assault rifle. Then there's the instructor, who suspiciously looks like he isn't doing a very good job of keeping his eyes on the right target, if you know what we mean. R and R. We'll be honest, when you first look at this picture, it's kinda cool. But once that is worn off, it actually leaves us with questions that can't be answered. Like, why are 22 Chinese soldiers attempting an activity that many kids perform at summer camp? We're not sure how comfortable this is, nor the reasoning why these men had to undertake this exercise. Their comrades, however, seem pretty impressed. Or maybe they're just happy they don't have to undertake in this whole silly exercise. Quality Build 
Every year in Russia, the military holds the tank biathlon competition. Think of it like the Olympics, only with more tanks and shooting. Teams from various countries take part in most used Soviet-era T-72 tanks to compete. The Chinese, however, prefer to field their own tanks. That's where this humorous and awkward photo originated. While performing on the course, this Chinese tank's road wheel just fell right off, a rare sight when it comes to tanks. What makes this all the more awkward is that this particular tank was a newer model, suggesting Chinese build quality isn't that good. Have you decided which historical military figure you would choose to have dinner with yet? Would you talk history with them over a fancy multi-course meal or chew the fat over a greasy bag of burgers and fries? Let us know who you'd pick and what you think the meal would be. For now, however, we've reached the end of our video. You likely know we have a ton of other military videos on everything from planes to the smallest armies in the world. But before you enlist for another video, just be sure to hit that subscribe button. Think of it as an enlistment feature for the richest. You are dismissed, Private. See you next time. Bye-bye.